poet, writer and neighbor, Lita Kendrick, will read the poem by Mirella Ivanova. What I wanted, and I couldn't tell my dad, in the Saturday afternoon of October the 23rd, when I called him on the phone from Maine's, but we started chattering, the usual loving things, conspiratorially laughed and schemed, as soon as I returned on Wednesday to give him the money that I had prepared and intended for him to buy a piglet for winter. He was really keen on this, to gather all of us, to feed us. He really loved the family celebrations and feasts, his three grandchildren. He called them Grandpa's Little Chickens. And when on Wednesday I landed, he had already flown, away among his other relatives, cousins, friends, doctors, patients, and angels. That's the title of the poem. <laughs> Let's start the poem. <laughs> Daddy, Dad, I don't deserve this. I don't want you to meet me with piles of wreaths and flowers. We had agreed otherwise. Don't you remember to wait for me on the bench in front of the house, Dad? My essential, irreplaceable, impossible Daddy. Already I feel pain in the head, the spine, the joints, the heart, the stomach the injustices, the halved biography, and the stabbed arm. How I showed up that one time at your office not until the next morning. Don't you remember how you and the surgeon scolded me for being terribly, irreparably late? And here I am, late again. <coughs> and the blood vessels, nerves, and tendons can no longer fit, match, stitch up. The thread ripped. Life is over. The end. And that's that. Forever. When the weather is bad, my arm will go numb. The whole of me will go numb. In this last warm day of November, a frost-bitten chrysanthemum, an orphan in the village cemetery, I will petrify in the memories, in that high naivete with which we hoed the garden each spring, built a house, gathered wild plums and apples, and woke up to be the first to vote. Don't you remember? Possessed early on by a fateful and resilient obstinacy, Wake up. Remember, get up. I beg of you, Daddy. I haven't hugged you for an entire five days, five years, five centuries under the Turks. Wake up from the dead, Dad. You brought so many people back from there. Like an angel you flew with an unbuttoned white coat. I beg you, come down so I can catch a glimpse of you to at least smoke a cigarette like we did in front of the Yantra Clinic. Don't you remember? to quickly tell you that I'm barely breathing. Everything's tightening. The clothes are tightening, the shoes, the rings, the space, the transition, the survival, the vows, the skin, the lungs, the city, and the trams. The dignity and the dreams, fanatical friendships, tighten, and facade, celebrations, patriarchal utopias and family idols, the house tightens and fears, the cliches of order and chaos, the unprogress and the stress, the cry and the smile, the mediocrity of changes, lifestyle and mentality tighten, nation and homeland, they tighten, and I don't deserve it, and only you from the infinity of love and death will understand.